ओके वन टू थ्री है यू गुड मॉर्निंग लो गैंग गुड जॉब सन यू डेड इट You did it, son. <laughs> What's up, gamers? It's your boy Skinny Penis back for another video. Today, I decided to completely sell out my YouTube channel. Frankly, you know, I've made like well, how many videos now? Like seven or eight, something like that. And uh, I'm not currently sitting at a million subscribers, and that pisses me off. Pretty much, my end game is 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 cashing out my channel, just completely, just selling out, um, throwing everybody under the bus along with me, talking about anything that will get me views. Uh, having completely no integrity, uh, glomming on to trending topics like a parasite, even if I don't give a shit. And, uh, yeah, eventually I'm gonna have that sweet, sweet YouTuber mansion, baby. Now, we don't wanna, we don't wanna watch, you know, the most popular videos here, because you are on my channel, after all. We do try to do things a little bit differently here on my channel, so today I've decided that we're going to, we're going to completely sell out based on upload date. So we're gonna find all of the hottest, freshest, coolest new YouTube videos talking about all of the things that are sure to, to, to cause a real stir in the comments section and get a lot of hate directed my way. That's all I want, really, is, is controversy and hate. I Really, I just want you to call me a shitbag and leave a comment and, uh, you know, stimulate the algorithm for me. So, without any further ado, let's let's get right into it. Let's try. Uh, what's a, what's a hot button topic that we could use to really drag in, you know, the views? Oh, I know, feminism. Uh, what's what's new and fresh in the world of feminism? Uh, Easter eggs and feminism 2019. What? Easter eggs and feminism? Oh well, now you got me intrigued. Now I can put both Easter and feminism in my tags. Thanks, dude. I really appreciate it. You're really helping me sell out with with efficiency. This is an egg. And this is is an Easter egg. There are in research in this. There are different accounts of how we got the word Easter and where all the eggs came from. Long throughout Christianity, the of the eggs been sacred for various reasons, I guess, for over reasons stuff like that. But anyway, symbol of the egg. <laughs> And we've made it chocolate. We've made it short-term happiness, sugary, artificial, unhealthy shit. So in other words, women are toxic and are going to basically make you unhappy. You know, they're, they're, they're fun at, at first, but you know, uh, after a little while, they start to make your stomach hurt and, and then maybe you throw up. Is that what I'm getting from this? We have turned it into an orgy of corporate interests. Um, forgetting the past and all about the origins origins of Easter, especially the feminine side of Easter, all along with Jesus nails inside the side of the whole mess. So you're saying that Easter is a feminist issue? <laughs> are you are you really doing this, my man? Sorry, that squeaking. If you see my valley in video, you will know that uh, I use the try and use that squeaking from next door as them. Um, as an object of meditation, if I'm trying to practice mindfulness, and then it's like... Oh my god! <laughs> Is this a joke? Plato's allegory of the cave, where you have people chained up in a cave. They're here, chained up, looking at a wall there. And behind them are figures held up on sticks. Can we just... hang on, can we just, like, analyze... Uh, now I'm curious. Can we just analyze some of these pictures on his wall? There's like women's lips over here, and there's fucking like some dude kissing a lady here, and there's a he's back, and then there's whatever that looks kind of lewd. Is that Michelle Obama? What the fuck, dude? What is up with you? What is this room? This looks like a fucking serial killer room, dude. This looks like Ray William Johnson's set from hell, oh my god. Alright, so, yeah, you heard it here first, folks. Uh, Rob Marenghi, uh, wants to let you know that, uh, feminism and Easter and, uh, something about a cave with heads on sticks and, uh, also meditate on squeaking noises from the door next door. Uh, okay. You know, I find it ironic that the tool of feminism and the feminists that employ it is by far the most odious form of oppression, not just for men, 
proper for women as well. Feminism, for the first time possibly in recorded history, has allowed Western women to show their true nature, and it's the worst possible thing they could have done for themselves because now they won't date me. Not since the days of Samson and Delilah have men been so keenly aware of the destruction and havoc women can visit upon them. And so now, women can no longer fetch the admiration and devotion of men in any meaningful way. Men aren't amazed or awestruck when we look at women. Men are suspicious and cautious and frankly want as little to do with women as possible. Yes, that's right. All men feel this way, everybody. All, all men feel this way. If you, don't, if you don't look at a woman and feel suspicious and cautious and generally just afraid, if you don't basically look at every woman with fear in your eyes, you're not a true alpha male, everybody. That's why the Western woman is so intense. Did the fucking feminist matriarchy, like, throttle this guy's microphone or something? Is he recording on a Commodore 64? Jesus Christ. Yeah, okay, so that's feminism, ladies and gentlemen. We've talked about feminism. Now, um, that, that helps me sell out a bit. You know, that's a pretty, that's a pretty trending topic. What else is trending, uh, is, is also incels. We want to see what the most hot button incel videos are on YouTube. You know, so I can really incel out, if you know what I mean. Incels are the luckiest men on on earth and here's why okay so i thought i'd give my uh, opinion on incels incels they don't realize it but they're the luckiest blokes alive you do not want to be in a relationship i am trapped in a relationship oh no i'm getting out her dad's a big badass if i dump his daughter i'm fucked oh my god oh no simple as that i'm fucked I didn't expect this. I, I, okay. I thought it was gonna be like, oh, women are scum, I hate women, but no, it's literally like, I am being held captive, and if I date, if I don't date this man's daughter, he is going to go fucking Liam Neeson and Taken on my ass. Oh my god. It is not worth it. I'd rather, right now, <laughs> right now, right this second, I'd rather be celibate. <laughs> this, oh my god, this is like a fucking hostage tape. This is like, this should be on the deep web. This is like, please send help. Don't ever have to deal with a woman again. Look at those eyes, they're so defeated. <laughs> oh no. Incels are quite lucky they are. Why do you want to validate them with sharing mutual pleasure with them? Why do you want to be in a loving relationship with someone you hate? I certainly don't. I don't want to pleasure a woman. I want a woman to pleasure me. <laughs> Think about it. Now, if I can find a way to get rid of my girlfriend, I will. Um, uh... All I'm saying is watch the news reports in England. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> fucked. I am truly fucked. Until I figure out a way to dissolve her body in my bathtub, I am truly fucked. Alright, so we got a Chad makes a song for incels. Uh... Uh, well, if he describes himself as a Chad, that's gotta be that's gotta be special. Let's let's check this out. I'm always down for some good music. Anyway, here's Wonderwall. Black pill, online dating apps, Tinder equals real life, black future for incels upcoming. Neat supremacist. Neat supremacist, yes, sign me up, dude. Hello everyone, and welcome to this new- Welcome back to Behind the Meme. Just like most of you guys know that I've been doing all these Tinder experiments where I try to find out how females behave and how men behave online with the use of different identities and pictures. Of course- Is that what you're doing? It's an experiment, is it? You just you're just experimenting. You're just you just uh, catfishing women with fake guys' pictures and uh, probably sliding into their DMs and, and asking them for nudes. Just as an experiment, though. Just as a prank, bro. Just just you know, just for fun. Just for laughs. Haha. -ha. Just just for my YouTube channel. Okay, I got you, bro. I got you, man. My foremost purpose of these experiments is to prove the black pill. The black pill with within. The black pill is women will date anybody who isn't me. Isn't that kind of fucked up? If you're a genetically weak person and you're genetically trash, that you have no real chance in the current dating market. In okay, my friend, have you ever played Metal Gear Solid? Come on, that's been disproven. 
All jokes aside here, this just sounds like a pretty defeatist attitude. Like, this just sounds like, well, I mean, yeah, I'm kind of ugly, so I guess I give up. I do, though, uh, speak here about the Western world, America and the West and Western Europe in general. Some parts in the world are not yet influenced by the structure and the way of the dating market as we have. Yeah, glorious places like, like the Middle East where they still, like, rape women for going outside without, like, a, their, their entire face covered. Yeah. Glorious places like them. Here in the West, in certain countries, it's still possible to get a female by arranged marriage. In certain countries, we make fun However, of the funny Swedish boy with his funny Swedish face. When you this is just so pathetic. It's basically just somebody who's, like who's just given up completely and who's like, oh, well, all women are only interested in literally one set of things. You know, like The Sims, where you have, like, your likes and your, your, your turn-offs and your turn-ons? Yeah, it's basically what women are. What is this man? This guy looks like he means business, everybody. I, I think we better watch this video. He looks like he's got a serious message. Okay, I, I don't speak this language, but, uh, when does he start shooting at us? This guy sounds very sensual, I gotta give him that. This whole video is just a still picture. What am I, watching a fucking Mr. Medico video? Sargon gives insanely stupid advice to incels. I mean, it's Sargon. Alright, so that was incels, we've done incels, we've done feminism, what other hot button- Oh, I got it, I got it. Trump! Trump Illuminati. There you go. Satan, Beast, Russia, Vladimir Putin, and Donald Trump Illuminati Freemason symbolism. That is every keyword that I need to become YouTube famous, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, is Donald Trump a Mason, Illuminati, or a society more elusive? Plus Ultra! I, I want to know what the ultra is. What is the, I want to go to the ultra zone. Tell me about the ultra. In these various pictures, there are unique handshakes that I will show you. And they mm. correspond to the Masonic handshakes found in Masonic manuals <laughs> and documents throughout the world. <laughs> Yeah, guys, he's the- he's the Mason Lord right there. That's him. We found him, everybody. We found the Lord of the Illuminati right there. <laughs> yeah, that's him. <laughs> okay, so that's Trump. That's the Illuminati. We got some of that down. What other hot-button topics can I really exploit for views here? What else is- is really pop- well, racism. Labor splits over, uh-huh, Alabama's racist, and Ben Shapiro educates with facts and knowledge! The war on drug, Duke Nukem, clothing brands and racism, okay. What's good everybody, it's your boy Talking With Tony, back again with another video, and you already know it's TWT, the mob, the best friend of me on YouTube, so make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button oh, and okay. ring that notification bell so you're alerted oh. every single oh, time. No. I oh, don't do that. Aren't you glad that I don't do this in my videos? Like, I know it's annoying when I show them on Twitter, I'm not unaware of that. I am not unaware, but aren't you glad that I don't fucking ring bells in your face and shit? It could always be worse. Video we're shouting out Bria Davis. Make sure that you guys go and check out her channel. Uh, she does fitness, health. She talks about her hair. I um, mean, she also. She's really like, cute. I really uh, wanted to send me news. Really Why don't you go tell her that, that I sent you guys her way so that so that she'll like me more. That would really help me. You know what I'm saying? This video we're gonna be talking about clothing brands and racism. So let's get into the video. Uh, without any further ado, let's get right into it. I'm gonna try to be as fair as possible and play Dever advocate um, in both situations. Dever both advocate? Just from the African American community. But I do think it's very saddening and disheartening that these clothing brands. Does this guy have braces? Does this man have. Does this adult male have braces? He's got braces. <laughs> I, I can't- I'm sorry, I have to click off this video. I can't watch a grown man who has braces. Oh, I'm sorry. Racism 2019! This video is about racism 2019! Alright, let's- let's check this out. This looks like some young children with some important views on racism.
think of the children, everybody. <laughs> Pooh and Lou, Pooh and Lou. Fortunately, I've never experienced a racist act, but in today's world, I now know what it means. Is that what the script tells you to say? <laughs> Is this the woke eight-year-old that everybody told us about? I still don't understand how people can mistreat others because of their race or religion. <laughs> I don't know. That's the most genuine answer we got, everybody. I don't know. Anyone who hates another person is in darkness and walks around in darkness. That's just sad. I mean, if you're talking about somebody who walks around in darkness, uh, I mean, also look at this white girl just like running over to this black girl to hug her. That is like, hey, poor, like, downtrodden, dark skinned person. Let me outreach my, my hug to you. All we really need to do is understand ourselves. Aww. We need to believe in ourselves and push forward. And there's the Muslim <laughs> boy. <laughs> Overcome racist people. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's fucking Benetton head. Always be welcome. Black and white are just colors, not people. Yeah, so are blue and white. Why is everybody dressed in the same fucking color? Is this like some religious cult? All right, well, <laughs> we learned a lot about racism, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what's another hot button issue that we can really, uh, maybe not an issue, maybe we need to, we need to exploit some people for views now, okay? Well, Onision is always a good option. One in five men are affected by prostate cancer. Please visit your doctor today. When I first saw you, I nearly passed out. I just stopped for the second you didn't. I felt such relief. So fast, every blink. Please, Onision, you're gonna kill me. Her body away. I'll never stop loving you. I'll never abandon you. Son, I love you. Can't you tell from my voice? Don't I sound so emotional for you, son? Son, I love you. This is a song for you. <laughs> like, full disclosure, I saw this video from Strange Aeons making fun of that song, so I kind of knew about it, but... <laughs> Hearing it, like, properly... <laughs> No. Uh, who else can we exploit for, for, for views on YouTube? Well, obviously, Jake Paul. Actually, no, Jake Paul. No, you know what? You know what? He's too obvious. Let's do Logan Paul. The Logan Paul fan, Sahir Askari. He will talk about his idol vlogger. He's a fanboy. Uh, this, this is gonna be good, everybody. You know you are a fucking savage when you've got dab right in your name. <laughs> What is he doing? What is- what is he- is he gonna like fuck that tape? What is he doing with that table? I like that like very nice like fancy doily on top of the table. It really goes well with the savage image. Logan Paul diss trick. Okay, well we'll watch the diss trick here. Logan Paul, you do got a chance both being the first YouTuber, but you're actually freaking not. You're only in the tent. You're the 11th person on the school board A. You're the sucky person on Earth. So shut your mouth and listen to me, Logan Paul. I mean, it's better than any music that Logan Paul's ever made. So, I mean, I can't argue with that. Yeah, okay, well that was the video, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I thought, I think we did a pretty good job of, uh, selling out, uh, effectively. We got Donald Trump in our tags, we got the Illuminati, there was some racism, there was incels, there was feminism, we got Logan Paul, you know, Onision. Uh, all of the things that get people popular on YouTube are right there, baby, in my tags, so, yeah. I think we got this shit covered. Thanks everybody for helping me to completely sell out my channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. Within the next couple of months, I should be the next uh, super popular YouTube celebrity uh, involved in like internet blood sports and probably gonna be on drama alert. I'm, I'm currently planning on having a, a very intense uh, boxing match with uh, Movie Bob. So, yeah, sign on for that one. That's gonna be some epic shit. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a comment, like if you liked, uh, dislike if you disliked it, uh, cause that helps me anyways with the algorithm. So, go fuck yourself. Bye!